Hello friends and family once again welcome to how to execute MS-DOS command a continuation in our previous lesson remember that we dealt with how to remove a directory and also how to uh, use the DIR you know and we said it is used to display a list of files and also a subdirectories in a directory and we also dealt with how to rename a directory now today's segment now uh, before I talk about um, how to shut the computer down using uh, this command. I like us to look at color. Okay, that is color. It's a specifying the color attributes of okay the contents or more or less the uh, control output. Whatever. Now let's look at how that has been done. Okay. Now to do this is just simple. <music> Now, as you can see, I am on my DOS screen, or more or less my DOS window. Now, remember, and also all those who uh, did what I say you should do by uh, re renaming the P and then what's up, what's up, what's up, me with uh, what you just did with the name I said you should rename it. So far as Costi is concerned, I appreciate it very much, which means that you guys are enjoying the video. And don't worry, I'll be, I'll be covering a more more section of this. Okay, so let's move on to today's segment. Today's segment, as I just said, we are looking at color. Okay, how to use color. Now, how do we use these colors? Colors are used to specify, let's assume that I'm using command prompts, and then here are the case, uh, as the background is black, and then the foreground is white probably it's not suiting my eyes so i decided to probably to change the uh the color the background color as well as the foreground color to see to how i want it but first let's deal with um changing the foreground color now as you can see first what i need to do i need to clear the screen so after clearing the screen let's assume that i want my background color or my foreground color okay with the text color should be um uh, blue okay to do that i'll just type color now the color that we spell c-o-l-o-r not c-o-l-o-u-r not that color okay so use color that is american standard language a computer speaks the cobalt language so you need to make sure you speak the cobalt language so more or less that is the color c-o-l-o-r then i'll bring the color heads as i just said i want my foreground color to be blue so space then i'll bring one that stands for color blue when i press enter guess what my color is blue now let's assume again i want my foreground color to be color red to do that it's just simple yours is to just type c o l o r space c and press enter and automatically you can see that there was the foreground color is red what about if i want to change my uh, text color or my foreground color to um, green to do that the same manner c o l o r space 2 that's the color has and i'll press enter and you see i have it green now if i want to turn it back to white I might suggest type c o l o r okay c o l o r space f which is color what color white now what about if i want the background should be blue and i want my text should be white to do this all the time when you specify the color which is c o l o r after bringing the color command you space it and you bring the background color first you know as i just said i want the background color to be blue so my is to just select one one stand for blue and then followed by the foreground color which is the text which is f and after that, I'll press enter, and you can see my background color is blue, and then my foreground color is white. So now, someone may also ask that, okay, what about if you want the background color to be red, and you want the foreground color to be black? It's just simple. You also you just type again, C O L O R space. Okay, as I type in the space, as I just said, you want the background color to be red, and the foreground color to be black. Okay, to do that, as you just type that, you also to just go um, color, background, uh, uh, red, so C for red, and the foreground, black, so you go like um, zero, okay, then you press enter, then you can see, you can see that you have it there. Now, to make it very easy for you to see, so let me change the background color, then I'll let you get to 
get the whole concept of how I got these color hairs and you also I mean lend them and try them okay wherever you are now to do this um, let's change the background color to um, blue and the text to white so CO okay so so as I just said so I may ask that how did I get all these color hairs now for you to see all the color hairs so far as uh, the color scheme is concerned you can just type color C O L O okay first let me clear the screen so that at least you can see it was CLS as you know now then after that I want to see the color hairs so I'll just go like C O L O R space then the color hairs is what I'll just type blue you can type color space red and then to give you the color hairs color space blue to give you the color hairs so blue in words you spell it okay in words so B L U E and I press enter you can see so these are all the color hairs and you can see this what as you can see here color attributes are specified by two hex digit the first correspond to the background background the second okay the foreground each digit can be any of the following variables or values any which way so you can see zero here is black and then we have one blue two green and then three is aqua four is red and then five is purple and so on and so forth and we have a six being yellow so you can use any of this and then you just what um learn that okay basically that is just that now let me just uh, maximize my window so you guys can see so this is it here as you can see here now another thing i like you guys to see is that when you watch here very carefully you can see that it's telling you that you should press enter to continue when i press enter it's going to give me an example of how i should also try this hand on where you say that color fc's okay produce light red on what on bright white okay so which money type color fc is going to produce light red on bright white let's try that so might we just type c o l o r space f c so as it just says going to give me light red on bright white so I press enter voila you see it there so basically that is just that let's change the background again to green and the text to white so it's going to be c o l o r okay space as i just said we were changing the background color to green so two is green and then um f is white then you press enter they have it there so as we are okay now as i just said we'll be looking at something very interesting but before then let's go back to the slide so this is my slide now you know that you can type color blue and it says that specify color attribute of uh, uh, control outputs or uh, basically that is just that now let's look at how to use uh, the shutdown command now this command okay this command is used okay is that it is used to shut down the computer that is shutdown space hyphen s hyphen T space one and the one specified demo which means that one second the machine should go off you can specify 120 seconds and when you use 120 seconds it's going to display how they call it um, a demo dialog box counting up to 120 seconds and then how do you call it the machine will shut down but before then um, I'd like you also to make a research on all of you should make a research on how to uh, command to, to to restart the computer okay make a research on a DOS command used to restart the computer and when you get it I'd like you to WhatsApp it to me through this number so as you can see the number on the screen so plus two three three um, two zero nine four six one three eight two so basically you can WhatsApp me okay to this number as I just said make the research the research is you should do a research on DOS command that one can use to restart the computer when you get it you also to just whatsapp it to me through this number okay which means that you are enjoying the lesson now now if that if that being said now let's try this by shutting the computer down and if it is if the machine shuts down that says goodbye see you in the next lesson but let's look at how that has been done so 
So as you can see, I am on my DOS screen. So what I will do is that, as you can see here now, okay, I am on my DOS screen. So as, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just clear the screen first. So as my screen is being cleared, now I'm going to type my command known as shutdown. Now, let me use the notepad so that you guys can see, or, okay, don't worry, I'll zoom in so you see what I'm typing. So you also have to just type shut down. So shut down space hyphen S space hyphen T space one space hyphen c space so you bring the column okay like quotes okay so in between your quotes you type demo okay so in between my quote i'll type demo you type demo okay so in between my quote i'll type demo so demo so after that my to after that I will just press enter and then the machine will just shut down.